Willie. So glad you're here. Dude, Willie the Wave, I have not seen you in forever, Yay! man. How in the hell have you been? Yay! All right. Willie, it's cool. very good to see you. Welcome to the show. Um, let me just back up real quick, folks. For those of you that have just joined us, um, <clears throat> one of topic of uh, roundtable discussion tonight with myself, Deb from Unsigned Musicians, and Rob Mazurik, known as the Sperminator here on Blog TV. Yeah, when he can get a word in. Yeah, um, <laughs> talking about um, ASCAP declaring war, essentially declaring war on free culture. Um, namely, ASCAP is telling their musicians don't sign your music, license your music via Creative Commons because people will steal your music and pirate it. Um, basically, this huge misconception they're trying to put out about Creative Commons that is not how Creative Commons works. Creative Commons is a uh, it, it is a license to the public, um, but there are conditions attached to it. it. If anything, it provides protections to the musicians. Um, yeah. But, you know, it, it enables shows like this one to play music royalty-free. <laughs> ASCAP hates that because that means they're not making money. And that's one of the yeah. things that we're talking about here, um, is our little roundtable discussion. So if you guys are just joining us, um, that's what's going on. Here, my eyes are getting kind of buggy. You know, I went to bed. I had to work today, and I went to bed late last night. I'm not going to mention who's at fault for that. Deb, <coughs> I'm sorry, Deb. Uh, Excuse me. You know, you guys, uh, I was going to mention that uh, a lot of online music stores like iTunes and uh, Amazon and whatever, mm -hmm. they pay royalties directly uh, per streaming to wow. the artist. Yeah, we've talked about iTunes before, but, you know, we have not... See, the thing is, though, we have not... Um, talked about this kind of thing in a very long time on the show so a lot of people don't quite realize mm. you know how this crap works um, as far as a lot of these sh these um, online stores work iTunes is actually a pretty sweet deal particularly for the um, musicians um, well, yeah, Rob, tell me about how that works uh, for you even if the person doesn't buy your song they just want to listen to like a, a part of it to decide whether they want to buy the song or not. Right. The artist still gets paid for that for that uh, uh, for that consumer listening to that particular stream of music. So I mean, you know, it's not much. It's only a few cents here and there. But... Right. Still not Rob, bad, do you? Though. Well, wait a minute. Do mm -hmm. all artists get those royalties, or is that just in Canada? Oh no, all artists. Yeah, all artists. Uh, I have to wonder how that works. I have to wonder how that works if they're members of BMI ASCAP because royalties should be paid now, through BMI ASCAP. Yeah, now that now that part I can't tell you because I, I I'm not a part of those organizations, so I'm not sure whether those people do get paid royalties or not. I know I do because I, I'm I'm too too poor and I'm right. independent. Let me ask you this: the the Canadian Performance Rights Societies. Um, I know my friend in Sweden has told me that when they get airplay, they get paid for it. It goes to the musicians or you know to the the copyright owner who actually got the airplay. Oh, wow. To be so, honest, Abby, you know I couldn't tell you because uh, I kind of refer to them as pretty much the same as ASCAP. I just don't trust them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Can't say I blame you. And. Uh, I figure, like, I don't really need any organization to represent me. I mean, an artist should be smart enough to represent themselves. I mean, you, you know what you're signing when you sign it. Mm -hmm. Read what you sign before you sign it. Mm -hmm. Particularly Cover as your far ass, as music. and that's all you need to do. Particularly yeah. as far as the music industry is, it goes. Um, just uh, let's uh, kind of take a sidestep here real quick. Willie, um, good friend Willie the Wave. Willie, it's good to see you, man. We've really missed you. Welcome yes. back. Welcome home. Um, Willie yeah. posted a video on YouTube. It was a public domain movie. And yeah. our wonderful friends at Warner Music Group hit him with a copyright notice. Well, was, it, it, was, it his, was it his movie? Or was it or was it their like uh, production? It's public domain. Willie, what was the movie? Because all, all movies that come out of Hollywood are copyright. 
Right, but if it was it like an older one where copyright expired, or was it an indie film? <laughs> Kevin, <sighs> I did not. I didn't get any Wait. farther than Orlando. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I did get blamed for Dallas. It was an evil twin, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it took us this long to go down this road. <laughs> you knew it was coming, Jack. I knew it was coming. Wow, we made it an hour. Anyway, <laughs> Willie, what was. Wait, it was. And you know, the best part was it wasn't even me, Jack. I know, I know. What the fuck? It was Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Because he probably figured we had you distracted on the phone. Hey, um, Willie, what was the the title of the movie? Or 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 was it copyrighted? Was it public domain? What was the zombie movie from the sixties? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Oh, that wouldn't be in public domain, would it? If it was never copyrighted, it might be. That's only what fifty years. Right. Yeah, see, I don't know if that would be in public domain, unless they never copyrighted it. Willie, how did you check to find out? It I'm just trying to find out. Okay, it was listed under public domain. Okay. So, all right, cool, okay. So, but Warner Music Group is claiming copyrights. Now, are they claiming copyrights on the movie, or are they claiming copyright on a song that's in the movie? I'd like to know a little bit more about this because that's very interesting. Because it, it sounds like, um, I mean, really, it's if there was Warner. no copyrighted music that was used in the movie, the movie itself is in public domain. Um, you might have a, a, a leg to stand on in fighting that takedown notice. Uh, if it's Warner is... music, I would think that it would be a song within. The that's movie. what I'm thinking too, Rob. Deb, what are your thoughts? I. The the fact that it was a movie from the sixties, it uh concerns me. And I'll tell you why. There are websites where they have stuff that they say it's in public domain. There's no there's but, no there's no music in the in the movie, uh, but really. But the thing is the only way to know for sure if something is in public domain is to contact this is my understanding, okay? Contact the copyright office. And have them do a search, and you, I think you got to pay for that too. I think you do too. But that's the only way to. They have to find the original copyright right. to know for sure whether or not that particular um, piece is in public domain. At least that's my understanding of it. But like I said, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I just uh, this is my understanding of it. Mm. But something from the 60s, that's only 50 years old. And copyrights, I know the law recently changed. I do know that. But right, but what copy, the copyright laws have changed a number of times since the 60s. What copyright law would apply? The copyright laws of that period or copyright laws of today? Oh, who the hell knows? Nobody, nobody said this was judge. easy. You think so? I, uh, I, well, you'd be taking the court on... The ones of today, because I think the copyrights of today say a hundred years plus the life of the uh, musician of the or the artist. In, yeah, or in regards to music, anyway. I'm not wow! Sure about that. Wow, that is uh, that kind of freaks me out when they make laws retroactive too. It does, because isn't there something in the Constitution that prohibits that? Well, you know, the Constitution also guarantees us freedom of speech, and we know that's just not flying well right now either. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> right to bear arms, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> not at all. This is really interesting. It is. It is. I'd like to. I want to. I'd love to know what the movie was. I don't doubt the movie itself was under Creative Commons. I'm wondering if there was music that was in the movie that triggered a thumbprint with Warner Music Group. Because you know all those things are automated anyway. Um, well, Black Angel had an original song of theirs that... Um, exactly. 
there was a claim that it was